how that was supposed to work. I believe that was a failure, Doctor. Wait, what? What happened to my voice? George, why do you sound so strange? I'm not sure, Dr. Aloof, but I think that your experiment is flawed. Flawed? What do you mean, flawed? I believe I've read in the Holy Bible that Bible. everyone will die at some point, that there is no secret to eternal life here on earth, though physical life. Romans 6.23, I believe it is, says, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. I believe that means that we have to know Jesus, the Son of God, and profess our faith in Him in order to be saved. Surely a a chemical reaction cannot overcome all that sin is. How foolish to think that. But George, that means my work. My work, it's for nothing, George, for nothing. I think you're right. And hmm. also, I think you should probably be in an asylum somewhere. Hmm. George. But your voice has changed so much, George. Yes, I think this has some other uh, applications, maybe in the medical field of, of helping people overcome their awkwardness. So, let's come over here to the desk maybe, George, and you can talk to me about this eternal life that you have found that I know nothing about at this point. I'll be glad to. Come, George, come. Hi, and welcome back with us for another Wednesday night episode. What'd you think about Dr. Aloof? Pretty mean, right? It's crazy to think that she thought she could create some type of concoction that would make people be able to live for eternity. I'm so glad to know that God created that for us, that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to earth in order to die on the cross to wash us clean of our sins so that we could then be able to spend eternity in heaven with him. Our scripture reference that goes along with our story tonight comes from Romans 6, 23. And in the Bible it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm so thankful that God gave us that gift. Aren't you? Well, we enjoyed our time with you tonight, and we look forward to being with you again next Wednesday for our next WOW message. George! What happened, George? What happened to 